Hey everyone, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Designer to take a subject and to make them into a Muppet. Here's how you do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to designer.microsoft.com. You can see all of the really interesting designs that you can create using AI. If you click sign in in the top right hand side here, you can sign in with a Microsoft account, or if you don't have one, you can create one for free. So after you create your account, now all you need is a subject or a photo of someone that you want to transform into a Muppet. In this case, I have the stock image from Canva. So what I'm going to have you do is to go below in the video description and to click on the link next to the emoji. Because when you do this, it is going to take you to this pre-created prompt right over here in Microsoft Designer. This is courtesy of Steve Bambury. If your character matches this description pretty well, you can go in and just kind of fill in these blanks. It's almost like one of those old Mad Libs activities. Okay, so here's what I was able to come up with. You can see that I kept this first sentence intact, but I changed quite a bit. I mentioned that this was a middle-aged businessman, black parted hair, closely shaved black beard with a little gray in it, black rim glasses, blue button up shirt. And I mentioned that his body is turned at about a 45 degree angle to the camera. So I'm going to select generate. And in just a few minutes, Microsoft designer will give me four different versions of this prompt. As you wait to generate, you get a pretty cool animation okay here we go we have four different versions you can see that I have four different versions that designer was able to generate you know these don't look too bad but what I want to do is maybe go back and just change it just a little bit I'm going to mention the expression of this character and as you can see in this photo he's happy and the photos that were generated it didn't really look like that so I'm going to say at the end, he is a happy character. Let me go ahead and generate these again. Okay, so we're done. Here's four different ones that are on here. Not bad. So some kind of cool examples that are here. Of course, again, if I want to fine tune this again, I could go and edit this again and just tweak it until it is able to generate a Muppet that I think looks like this character that I was trying to create. Now, once this is here, if this is something that you like, you can select the download button and you'll have the option to download a JPEG of this photo. So it's that easy. I took this character and made it into a Muppet with Microsoft Designer in just a few seconds. So that's it. Go ahead. You can sign up for Microsoft Designer for free today. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment area and I'll do my best to get back to you.